Mary Kissel from Davis County Audubon Society with our second episode of Bird is the Word. Today we're going to learn about indigo buntings. Do you know what indigo means? It's a shade of blue, a deep sky blue. That's the color of the male indigo buntings when their black feathers reflect the sunlight. It all depends on how the sunlight hits them. Sometimes they're this color of blue, sometimes a little aqua. Some people say, oh look, there's a, a small black bird up on the wire. What is that? It all depends on how the sunlight hits them. Now the female is as blah as blah can be, just kind of brown with a little bit of blue. Why is that again? That's right, there's another camouflage female protecting her young. It's a great color because indigo spend a lot of time out in fields. One thing indigos are known for is their singing. If you're outside in the summertime and hear a bird singing, chances are pretty good it's an indigo bunny. They can sing up to 200 times an hour during the first hour of the day and then once a minute during the rest of the day. The males learn their songs from older males. So sometimes there's great neighborhood song battles among indigo buntings. Now, I was uh, told that they sound like plop, plop, fizz, fizz. So, uh, let's see if you agree. Seems ploppy and fizzy to me, huh? While they're singing, the females are building the nest by themselves. It's a cup of leaves, grasses, stems, bark wrapped in spider webs. She also does the raising of the young by herself. They lay three to four eggs, usually white and unmarked, but sometimes they might have a little bit of a brown spotting on them. Now, indigo bunnings will come to bird feeders. Uh, again, they have the, the beak like a cardinal. A little bit smaller than a gross beak, but the comb beak that loves seeds. They also eat fruit and insects. Now that you've met the indigo bunny, here's today's at-home challenge. Think of your favorite song and whistle the first line of the song as much as you can in, the, in a minute. Multiply by 60 and see if you can match the pace of an indigo at dawn. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Bird is the Word.